Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new PowerMig 262 MP by Lincoln Electric. So we got my demo unit in, um, and uh, we got it set up. So what we we ordered this package, and in this video we're going to go over what this machine does. Uh, it is a multi-process unit, um, and then the package that I got is the aluminum one ready pack with a 10-foot gun for pushing aluminum without a push pull gun through this unit. So we'll go over that here in a second, but uh, and we are going to weld with weld aluminum with it, but. This unit here, it is a 300 amp capability, a 230 amp, 60% duty cycle. So pretty pretty high up there on the duty cycle range. Uh, this fits in your mid range, so it's bigger brother the 360 MP. Um, and then obviously you get you get stepped down into the uh, more of the homeowner machines, right? The the 211i that sort of thing. But this one fits right in the middle. Uh, I think it's good for fabrication shops or auto body shops. Uh, educational settings, things like that. Uh, fits in there right, the price point is right. Um, we'll link all that down below in all the different packages that you can get and the pricing. Um, pretty slick, slim, trim machine. Uh, looks very similar to the old 260 MP and the 360 MP. Uh, it is very heavy because it is a transformer based unit. Uh, I think it weighs two, just over 250 pounds. So you're gonna need help getting it out of its box or out of off its pallet and wherever you're putting it because it is very heavy and it's very front heavy. Um, although, very nice machine. So, if you look on the front of this unit here, we've got a bunch of different uh, things. So we got a 110 volt plug here, our push-pull gun here, our regular MIG gun switch here, and this is the remote uh, for the uh, either like foot pedal for TIG welding, that sort of thing. This is a gas solenoid for our, our spool gun because this will go connect to a spool gun. Got our big on-off button here. We'll walk around to the side. I'll show you the side door. Uh, very nice side door, nice latch, slim, slim fit in there. On the top here, we got our Power MIG 262, and that is the just their parameter chart. So what we're running, uh, if, and it gives you just some base parameters, right? 22 gauge all the way up to half inch. That's what they're saying is recommended with this. Is half inch gives our gas flow. Then on the inside of the unit here, we can. We have our aluminum wire. So I have some 5356 uh, 364 in here. We're going to push through the 10 foot gun. I changed out. Now, this unit came with drive rolls 035, 045 drive rolls. And then in the kit, I got 364 drive rolls, contact tips, and in, in the guides, all that. I set it up for two, it gives you your wire tension. It's right at two. I put it right at two for the aluminum. But there again, it's the standard Lincoln drive roll system. Very robust. Very well built. Um, it came with these these guides here. They're they're plastics for the aluminum, so it flows in there better. Um, everything was hooked up. The ground was hooked up. I just had to put the MIG gun on. Uh, I put the wire in, obviously, and uh, got everything set up. So this unit also came with a regulator, and it was a Harris regulator. Came with your setup guide, which I set up, set off the side that was inside the unit. The MIG gun was inside the unit. And it came with this, the uh, Magnum Pro right there. That unit came standard with this. So, and then obviously with my kit, I got the aluminum gun, the 10 foot gun with it. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And then we'll walk through the screen here and uh, open what the parameters are. So they did change a couple of things with this unit when it came to the setup, which I noticed it seemed simpler than the old, the 260 or the 360. Um, screen here so this is home uh, we got a GMAW FCAW so flux core stick SMAW TIG GTAW so all those four processes now this thing will pulse I'll jump into that so we'll do the get you can do guided setup manual or you can skip this but we'll do guided setup for this is MIG and you can choose steel 3000 series stainless 4000 aluminum 5000 aluminum that's what we have or you can go manual cv so you don't have to choose but i'll show you this we'll just set up for the aluminum real quick tell what wire diameter 100 percent argon right that's what we're going to run and then this will pulse aluminum or you can run it in straight circuit voltage, just straight cv um straight pulse we're going to pulse this and i have and let's see, it goes up to half inch down the 16 gauge. I have 10 gauge, which is eighth inch material. We checked our polarity and we're good to go. So it gives us a recommended, so this is 
arc length now we're measuring and then our wire feed speed. So it's going to give us a the green and it's going to show us with the arc FX here what our bead appearance does when we are welding. So that was the ready set weld function and this is the arc FX that's telling us what our what we're doing to the wire arc length it's going to change our bead appearance. So it's pretty neat. We're going to leave it at that run that but what we'll do is we'll go back to home and I'll show you guys too this thing will run so we do guided setup so we can do gas shielded or self shielded flux core that's awesome we'll go back that's what I wanted to show you there and then this unit will also run crisper soft right but we can pick our stick electrode electrode size we'll just do eighth inch we'll do three eighths plate thickness now because I was in crisp you heard the fan kick on so it's going to run 60 10 60 11 60 13 that sort of thing and then if I go back stick when I run soft that's going to be our 70 18 settings now you can notice that fan kick on because we chose stick stick is a uh, you know, it hits the duty cycle faster so the fan kicks on to cool the inner boards on that we'll go home And obviously I'm up into the TIG here and I'll show you here. We'll go guided setup and obviously 300 series stainless or steel. So DC only. We'll just pick on stainless. Tungsten size 8th inch, 100% argon, quarter inch plate thickness. Yep, we're good. Just to show you, there you go. It's a touch start, no high freak, but it does do TIG welding. We'll link that all down below as well. And uh, so you put the, the kit down below with a foot pedal and everything so you guys can look at that. But we'll go back, we'll go back to my aluminum setting. We're gonna give this thing a shot here. We'll just go back through the setting just to show you. This shot, I got my gas on, got my big gun, got all the wire ran. We should be good. Let me, uh, my helmet on, we'll tack up a piece here. Five thousand series pulse. I turn my arc link down a little bit because this material, pretty close to eight inch, might be a little bit thinner. And uh, I'll give it a shot. You notice that the, the well that was just on the pulse setting. All right, so as you can see, it welded the pulse really well. Um, this gun, the aluminum one package, comes with a 30 degree gooseneck on it, full nylon liner, heavier amperage gun, 300 amp gun, uh, bigger consumables, so the heavier get gauge with consumables, the 27 45 consumables uh, for running the aluminum. Now, what I like about it though, and, and they put this out there and it's awesome because it, it has a good pulse capability and it's good for, you know, your auto body guys that are, or your trailer shop guys, they can do this. This is, this is doable, right? Straight gun, 10 foot, well in aluminum trailers or anything like that. And it's got pulse and it's the perfect size machine for us. people like that, you know, the trailer shops and that sort of thing or repairs on, you know, uh, dump truck trailers, that sort of thing. It'd be perfect for that. Where it lacks is the length of gun, right? Everybody wants a 35 foot spool gun. Okay, it doesn't have that, you can get it, but um, it is nice for close quarter welding aluminum with just that straight gun. I, I do like the machine, I like the weld output. We welded, stick weld with it on another day. Stick weld's great, runs 6010. It's always the biggest question. Uh, runs that well. And then the MIG welding, the steel output, it's gonna weld just like your regular 260 MP. Um, it, it runs good. Comparatively to other brand machines, this is going to fit somewhere in between that 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 you know Miller Mag 255 or the Multimag 255 because it's a multi-process machine. Um, this is going to fit in that little wheelhouse, even up to the 355. I think this thing's going to push into that territory a little bit more too. Um, but that's kind of where it's going to fall in the range. Now, is it a full industrial fab shop machine? I would say if you're going to run 
If it's continuously welding all day long, you might want to step up to its bigger brother, 360 MP. Um, but for auto body, trailer shops, that sort of thing, we're, we're just tacking and fabbing and running welds and doing some, you know, quite a bit of welding. I'm not saying this won't do it, but I'm just saying it, as far as that goes, it's in the mid-range of all those bigger machines. So there's heavier duty, and then obviously there's lighter duty, and this one fits in the middle. And at the price point, it's pretty good. So, and we'll link that all down below, but really, for the price, I, I, you can't really beat it. The thing I don't like about it, it's heavy, and it is kind of top-heavy, so you got to be careful. You've got some windy or some, you know, people that sit on these things or whatnot, they're, they're heavy. So you got to be careful with that. Um, other than that, it's a good overall machine. If you guys got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.